Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Chidarchini, the village where I live in North West Bosnia, Herzegovina. That's what this channel is all about. I'm David, I'm over 70 and I live in the Balkans. And this channel is all about my life and some stories from my everyday life. Today, hopefully, my neighbours will be um, finishing off preparing food for winter. Um, and in this case, it's not vegetables, in other words, pickling them, canning them, I think, the uh, phrase is in the States. But today, it's all about meat. And yesterday, Tam's father and the neighbours uh, slaughtered a large pig and hopefully they'll be jointing them all up, butchering them up into uh, different cuts which will then be either salted or dried or smoked or turned into sausages so that the, they can be eaten during the, the winter months and it's still cold can still see the snow behind so uh, yeah there'll be some b-roll uh, in today's uh, walk and talk it's not as chilly as I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be a lot lot more chilly than it is That is a lot of meat. Stravo! That is a lot of meat. Definitely. Look at all of this. Puno. So this is all jointed up. Obviously they butchered it yesterday. Now it all gets jointed up. Even, nothing goes missing here. The fat will be used. The skin will be used. And I think the innards go to the, the pets. Everything but everything is used. Oh, it's chilly. Very tradition, eh? Huh? <laughs> Un coco kilo, meso. That's it. Petnes, vision. Petnes, that's Oof. So, yeah, lots of uh, work going on here. Still, I think, another day or two days, maybe. It's a lot of work. Making uh, ground pork. Uh, we would call it mince pork, I think, in England, but ground pork. Some of that will be used as ground pork. Some of that, obviously, is going to be turned into sausages, and sausages here are absolutely amazing. But, yeah, the front yard <laughs> of a small holding is where my neighbour... My neighbour lives in a city, actually, but this is his weekend house. But his mum and dad used to live there for years and years and years and years and years. So, you get a
sneak peek of life here. It's chilly, as I said. Very chilly. And uh, I asked Tam's father, Predrag, about how much the uh, pig weighed before it was slaughtered, and he said around about 260 kilos, plus or minus. And here people always underestimate, so I would reckon it'll be about 260 kilos plus. That's a lot of meat, which will be shared between the two families. So our neighbor and his extended family will have a considerable amount of that. And then Tam and me uh, and Tam's for, uh, parents, they'll have the other part. And what they're doing at the moment is they're using uh, a hammer and a large piece of sharp steel uh, to joint up some more. But this is happening all over the, the country at the moment. Okay, in certain parts where pigs aren't eaten much, then there'll be other animals that will be prepared. But this, as I said, will all be, some of it will de be deep frozen because we have deep freezers now, obviously. Um, some will be smoked. Uh, some, would, some, will, some will be dried, just using salt. Some, as I said, um, back in the house, uh, the lady's going to be continuing making uh, ground pork, and then there'll be the session where they'll, they'll make um, uh, the sausages. But I want to show you uh, one thing as well that most people have here in the countryside. And that's this place here. Let me make sure I don't slip over. As you can see, this is quite dark. There's wood already in here. And up there, they're gonna hang the meat that is gonna be smoked. So this is the smoker. So I'll walk back a little bit and uh, yeah. have a ladder that they'll put inside simple to the point and there's always wood lying around everywhere as you can see over there not the tidiest but does it really matter it's the end result right There you had it, a quick trip to my neighbour and uh, I dodged, I dodged the rakia today. Normally there's a lot of rakia being uh, consumed. Um, it's polite, it's cultural, whenever you go somewhere, you know you're offered rakia, beer. If you're not into alcohol, obviously they've got uh, juices and things. But another sneak peek into something that you wouldn't normally see. Um, I mean, if you come as a tourist, there are all the sights to see, the history to experience and uh, discover, the food to die for. But you very rarely end up coming this far off the beaten track. People are starting to offer that now. I don't normally talk about recommendations, but we have uh, some really good friends who run uh, a travel agency 
out of Sarajevo. It's called Chafe. Uh, I've done a video about that before, but I'll do another video about Chafe. Chafe is taking it easy. It, chafe is all about enjoying life. And Kathy and Numa have called their small boutique travel agency Chafe. And they're starting to take people off the beaten track. Um, Helga, uh, a friend from Norway, came here and uh, had a chafe experience with Kathy and Numa. And then he came and spent six days with us and we showed him around as a slow tourist. We, Tamara and I, especially me, I think that that's what it's all about. And if you had been here today in the country with us, I would have taken you to see what was happening. Because that's a way to experience another culture. It's to get behind the door, get behind the curtains, get to see and experience how other people live. Um, see how they do things different, because that's what makes life really brilliant. And I have been so fortunate during my life, I've ended up here, but I've travelled extensively and spent time in other countries and I'm a much more tolerant person because of it. So that's it for this video. Wherever you see it, if you see it on the blog, please give me a comment. Uh, let's start a discussion. If you catch this on YouTube, I hope you've liked it. Once again, please comment, share it with friends, uh, do the drill um, of uh, subscribing if you've just bumped across this now, bumped into this video. And uh, there's a notification button or bell on YouTube. So if you have a go at that, bump it, bang it, smash it. Uh, young people have got all these phrases these days, haven't they? So that you'll always be notified when there's another update. I'm trying to make these videos uh, twice a week and to tell stories that I think you might be interested in. Right. I'm going back in now. I'm going to have a nice warm drink. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. And here, I'm home. Mara, our dog, or one of our dogs, is saying hello. Catch you soon. <laughs>